Hey everyone, Kenny back again doing another benchmark video. This time I'm going to do a video comparison on 3440 by 1440 ultra wide to the 3840 by 1600 ultra wide. So if you're looking to either upgrade from a 34 inch 1440p ultra wide to a 38 inch with the 1600 resolution or maybe you're just looking at trying to get into ultra wide and don't know what you want you want to do this will be a comparison in cyberpunk to kind of show you the performance differences between the two i'm currently running the rtx 4080 all stock and a ryzen 9 5900x so we're going to get into cyberpunk and go through some settings and go from there so we're running native right now 3440 by 1440 um, basically everything on ultra minus this stuff here no motion blur or anything like that so everything else is on high or ultra with ultra ray tracing and we're gonna mess with path tracing as well all right so In native 3440 by 1440, we're going to be averaging in the low to mid 40s. It's not really great, but it's not too bad either. I actually played at this FPS in this game for at least a year with my 3060 Ti, minus the ray tracing. This game is definitely hard to run, especially with ray tracing. That's another reason why I kind of like to use it when I do comparisons in resolution or kind of putting the GPU to the test because uh, we'll, we'll mess with it a little later on, but you can definitely push the RTX 4080 to its limits. And in another video in the future, maybe tomorrow or the next day, I'll do some overclocking as well. So we can see the benefits of overclocking in this game with these resolutions. So as you can see, we're in the low to mid 40s. So let's go ahead and change it to the 1600. All the graphic settings the same and see where we're at. So this should be in the mid 30s so I think on average we're gonna be somewhere between 8 and 10 FPS difference give or take a little bit um, between the two resolutions so if you're trying to decide between doing a 34 inch 1440p and a 38 inch with the 1600p um, the difference is going to be pretty small although if you want to get like the best visuals you're not a big fan of running um, dlss or maybe you like dlss but you don't like frame generation you really want to get the most frames possible and so maybe potentially that 8 to 10 fps difference would would be a big deal to you although cyberpunk i feel like is one of the games is kind of worst case scenario so obviously not, not a lot of other games will be like this and you'll be playing in a higher FPS range. This is with the RTX 4080, but um, we can obviously mess with settings and, and change that and get more FPS out of it. But for now, we're just going to leave everything the same and just do direct comparison. So as you can see, we're in the high 30s and before we we're in the mid 40s. So we're 8 or so 8 to 10 FPS difference not a giant difference so we're gonna go ahead and turn on DLSS on quality we're gonna go back to the 1440 do a little driving around so you can see so now we're gonna be in the mid 70s and this is DLSS quality 3440 by 1440 everything on ultra so you can see we're going to be hovering between 60 and 70 some spots obviously hit high 50s for a second there but we're going to be in that high 60 to low 70 range most of the time i think
I think I think this car is going to be pretty wrecked by the end of this. I actually tried making this video just a few minutes ago and my audio wasn't recording so my car is pretty wrecked from driving around and smashing into people. Okay, so we're in the high 60s, low to mid 70s with everything on ultra at 3440 by 1440. So let's go ahead and go up and see the difference. So here, I think we're going to see kind of the same thing. So we're going to see we're, now we're in the kind of the mid 50s to the mid 60s. So again, around 8 to 10 FPS drop. Still great though. Like if you're thinking, if you have this GPU and and you want to play Cyberpunk with basically everything maxed out, we we don't have the ray tracing on Psycho, but it's on Ultra, and I don't know that the difference are that big. But regardless, if you want to play at super high settings on a 38 inch ultra wide with the 1600 resolution, I think you're going to be just fine. So again, about eight FPS difference, give or take. So let's go ahead. Let's actually drop this back so we can get another baseline and we're going to go, go ahead and turn on path tracing and see what kind of killer this is going to be. So before we remember we were in the, the mid seventies, give or take. Now we're going to be in the mid to high forties. And, I mean, it looks pretty dang good. DLSS in this game, I don't think really takes much away. It makes it slightly softer, but for the most part, at this resolution, it looks pretty great, in my opinion. It does just fine. This is basically bringing us back to the performance of running the game native on just regular ray tracing on ultra being in the 40s totally playable though this is being in the higher 40s um this is this is actually not too bad my doors do not they're not going to last too much longer this poor car my engine's not going to last too much longer either so we're in the mid 40s not not doing too bad considering how how much harder uh, path tracing is on the gpu not too bad at all okay let's go ahead and switch it back up to 1600 let see our differences here so we're in the mid 40s high 40s so i think yeah, there we go. We're low 40s, high 30s. So this... Okay, so now we're down to 35. So we're kind of bouncing around. It kind of depends. This this area is definitely a little harder on the GPU with all the reflections and the lighting and the traffic and everything. So that's our, you know, 10, maybe even 12 or so FPS difference. It dipped down to 29 there for a second. So the path tracing is definitely a killer on FPS, but it looks really good. Again, about a 10, 10 or so FPS difference between the two ultra wide resolutions. Not too bad at all. Okay, let's see, what do we want to do here? Let's, um, Let's actually turn on frame generation. I don't know why it does this, but whenever I try to turn on frame generation, it always puts it auto, uh, to auto, and I hate that because it always looks way worse than it needs to. Okay, so let's put this back to 1440. So we have path tracing on, everything else ultra, DLSS quality and frame generation. So let's get another baseline here. So now, back up into the 70s. Low, 
low 70s, high 60s. This is pretty ideal. This looks nice and smooth. Although the frame generation, I feel like, does soften up the game quite a bit. I feel like this is looking... I mean, we, we are using DLSS, but I feel like this is looking more 1080-ish. Definitely more than than before the frame generation helps a lot if we not quite doubled our performance we we added around 30 ish fps give or take but it's definitely softer the game still looks pretty amazing though mid to low 70s is pretty dang good Let's see how much longer my car is gonna last we need another car by the end of this benchmark. So you can see here, low 60s, but still pretty dang good. Let's go ahead and switch it up and go to 1600. And see our performance differences. So now, we were just in the low 60s, now we're in the mid 50s, probably going to be mid to low 50s I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell but obviously it looks a little sharper too which is cool There goes my door. I don't need that. Make my car a little faster. Now that it's lighter. So yeah, there's our about 10 FPS difference. <laughs> Dang, the front of the car is looking terrible. <clears throat> okay, so let's change things up again. And we're going to leave these on. And we're going to get rid of ray tracing altogether. So we can get a higher FPS and see what kind of differences we have at higher higher FPS. Okay, so 3440 by 1440. Everything on Ultra, no ray tracing. DLSS quality and frame generation on. We should be between 120 and 130, kind of depending on where we're at. It does seem, I don't know, maybe because the FPS is higher, it just seems, it looks better. While you're moving, at least, it's just so much smoother. Obviously, being in the 120s, 130s, up to 140, it's pretty awesome. So we're up and maxing out my monitor's refresh rate at getting up in the high, mid 140s. So I think here, when we're up in the higher FPS range, we'll see larger gaps between the 3440 and the uh, 3840. But at this point, I think the differences won't really matter that much. So obviously there's not a whole lot going on here, so we're closer to 150. But let's go ahead and bump it up and see our FPS differences while we hold up traffic. Yeah, so now we're we're closer to that 20 FPS difference between the two resolutions. <clears throat> Which is pretty substantial, but once you get up into this higher F FPS range, I don't think it matters too much. Still super smooth. But yeah, pretty solid 20 Jeez, maybe even a little bit more, depending. The car still runs. And I'll be doing some benchmarks in the future, too, of some other games, which will be getting double or triple the FPS that we are now. And we'll check out those FPS differences between the two resolutions. And I think maybe if you're playing things like Warzone or Battlefield, stuff like that, 
the differences might be big enough to really kind of make your decision on whether you want to do the larger ultra wide or the 34 inch ultra wide um, because the, different, the FPS differences might be big enough to to really matter okay I think I've pretty much gone through just about everything we can with these let's go ahead and play around for a second before I end this video with some native resolution with everything maxed out and see see how much we can kill my GPU and I'll be doing some overclocking later on as well to kind of show the differences when I'm trying to run native resolution with everything maxed out so we can see how much that overclock helps but right now running bone stock this looks super choppy this would not be fun at all this is 3440 by 1440 everything basically maxed out and it is not liking it that'll make you sick all right let's check out the difference once we go up not that big of a difference when you get <laughs> when you get down to 20 fps it, it all sucks so yeah getting down to 17 so if you want to run this game on a 38 inch ultra wide native it is not going to be great maybe if you have a 49 it'll do a little bit better but for now i think i'm going to call this video if you guys have any recommendations or anything else you guys want to check out i will be doing some comparisons to 4k as well and i will be doing some overclocking and of course a ton more games as well but like i said before cyberpunk is one of my favorites just because it's just kind of brutal anyways that's it for this one guys thanks for watching